Hey there, Coach Devin here. Let's talk about not wanting to work out. Because you know what? That's normal. Everybody has those days. Look, I have those days too. This morning, you know what? I, I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I'm on the bike. It is uh, you know, about eight minutes after six. I didn't want to get up. I did not. I thought the extra half hour of sleep seemed like an amazing idea. And the reason is, I'm tired. I'm tired because back in March, early, early March, right after COVID started, uh, my back got super sore. Turned out I have a staph infection in my back. And that staph infection, you know, it put me out for a while, hospitalized me for a week. Uh, I was on antibiotics, have been in, on antibiotics for uh, almost 12 weeks now. Still with the mark from the pick line in my arm because I had to walk around with a permanent IV in me for six weeks. Bad situation. Up high and low of it, I'm lucky. I could have lost the ability to walk. I could have died. So for me, I look at that, I'm like, I won. <laughs> I'm okay. You know what? My back still hurts. We'll see how long that lasts. It's possible it could be permanent. I don't know. I'm gonna try to be just positive about it. I'm having better days, obviously. Still not what I was, which is frustrating. Now, that's some background. That's the reason at night, sometimes I can't sleep well. Some nights I'll get, you know, two and three hours at a pop before I wake up and my back hurts and it gets me up. Other nights it's an hour. Several times this week, you know, first Sunday, Monday, even Tuesday, back was pretty damn sore at night. Like, getting up every hour, have to walk around the house, stretch it out, drives me crazy. <laughs> and it means very little sleep. It means I'm tired. Like, good and tired. So in the morning, usually for me, getting out of bed is not that tough. I just do it. I just get the hell up and off I go. Last couple days, hard very very hard what do you do about those things well here's the thing to remember everybody can work out on a day you feel like working out everybody can it's easy when you're full of you know vim and vigor and like a better term piss and vinegar <laughs> you you want to work out that's what you want to do you're like yeah i'm going to the gym i'm going to get a million things done today it's a good day those days they're the easy days. Anybody can do this stuff on that day. It's actually pretty simple. Just like a, you're having one of those days, eating healthy, well, that's easy. You just do it. You don't think about it, you're like, I'm gonna eat. It is what it is, I'm healthy, I'm taking care of myself, right? Okay, that's normal. However, you have probably at least 50% of your days that you really don't feel like it. I've had three in a row. For me, I might, you know, 25% of my days are like that. I'm having five straight, you know, three in a row where I am not feeling it. What do you do on those days? How do you handle those days? How do you get your ass up? Well, two ways to do it. First one is stay in bed. You can do that. Not a good choice, but it's a choice. Second one, get your ass up and do work. Now, I am not saying that when you're exhausted, you should go work out. That's stupid. Obviously not the choice. You need to take care, listen to your body. Sometimes you need extra sleep. For me, I had to be at work early anyway. Extra 20 minutes of sleep, half an hour of sleep. It's not gonna do much anyway. So I get my ass out. What do you do? How do you get out of bed? Or how do you self-motivate in those times? Well, an easy way to do it, get yourself a workout partner. That helps. If you have somebody who is waiting on you, expecting you to be in the gym with them, that helps. Now, it doesn't have to be your best buddy. Listen, it could be because you have a, an appointment with a personal trainer. Lots of my clients don't want to come in, but they know, hey, shit, if I don't show up, I get charged. <laughs> if I get charged, I don't want to lose my money. So I show up, they get more results. That works, a workout partner, get a personal trainer, meet some friends at the gym. If you're going to a class at a gym, and you're usually always there, get to know the people, talk to them, then you feel a little pressure. 
social pressure and fitness works. It just does. It gets your ass up, makes you feel like, hey, I gotta be there. So those things definitely work, but bottom line, you have to self-motivate. You have to have some stick to itness. There needs to be some grind in there. If there isn't any grind, this shit will never work. You gotta be able to do that. I'm getting up no matter what. A little bit of a stiff upper lip, grit your teeth. I always think of myself as being a badass. Go for a run, which I can't do really right now because of my back, but when I go for a run, I imagine myself as a bad man. Now, I don't think of myself as being a bad guy at any other time. I must spend most of my time joking around. However, I consider my, I look at myself and I create in my mind an aggressive personality that does not back down. Doesn't mean I'm angry. Just means I'm not gonna back down from that ever. When I don't wanna get out of bed in the morning, like today, yesterday, and the day before, I get up, as soon as that alarm goes off, I don't lie in bed. I get up, walk my butt to the bathroom, and put on my damn clothes. Why? Because by the time I get there, I'm committed. It's time. I start thinking, I don't care if I'm tired. I said I would do this, God damn it, I'm gonna do it. That's how you grind. Just put your, grit your teeth, put your clothes on, and get moving. Once you're out of bed, what the hell's the point of going back to bed? You're okay now. Now it's time to get up and get going. I promise you, it works. Don't lie in bed and think about it. You'll convince yourself not to. You just will. Don't lie in bed and press the snooze. That's a dead end. It does nothing for you. I don't press the snooze. Never press the snooze. Why? Because what the hell's the point? What is an extra five minutes? I'm not gonna feel better in five minutes. Probably gonna feel worse. So I just get my ass up and I get going. It's like anything, if you make a decision to do something, do it. Don't back down, don't think about it, don't overanalyze it. Once you make that decision, go. Three second rule, get up, get going. Do whatever it is you need to do now. It's super important guys. Once you force yourself to do something, you start moving. Momentum is an amazing thing. It will get you going, just grind. Once you get moving, the momentum will carry you through. Have yourself an amazing day. Don't back half on your workouts, guys. Don't play the awesome.